I've told you before the great story of man and God, but I'll mention it again. In the beginning, well, okay, I'm talking mythically. God said to man, now look, uh, I've given you a whole earth which I made and a nature and all the species and things to give you everything that you want is in the earth, on the earth, everything. And I have given you woman to love, to be your companion and to love you and for you to love. I have given you everything. So we start from there and I've given you your body and I've given you all everything that's on the earth. And uh, God then said, now I'm going to give you your own free will to do what you want to do. Now you can do it my way if you like, which is not the way of your mind or your free will, or you can do it with your own free will as you think it should be done. And whatever you do, I will not allow you to destroy yourself. Although that will always be on the cards, because if you don't do it the way, my way, then you'll always be on the cards of wiping yourself out. But I will not allow that. I will hold everything together. You can build the most powerful bomb in the world, and you can drop it over several nations at once, and it'll wipe out mo most of you, uh, but I will not allow you all to be wiped out. I will hold it together for you, even though you have done this mighty evil to what I have created. it. But I will hold it together for you. Now you get on with doing what you want. You follow my way or you follow your own. Well, of course, man followed his own way, own loveless and ignorant way, and we see the world that we've got today, which has lots of excitement and satisfaction in it for a while, but no fulfillment for long. But those of us who want to surrender to God's way, it's always there for us to join in God's will. Now, what is God's will? God's will is now, this moment. Now, if it weren't God's will where we are now and what we're doing now, whose will is it? There can't be a God, can there? I mean, there's someone else working in this world, but there's not. There's only man and God. Now, in this moment, we have been destroying what man made. That is emotion, unhappiness, negativity, wanting, trying, ignorance. Through our love together, our love of life, we are actually dissolving the world in this space inside of us now. And so it's possible to realize that this is good. It is good not to have, be emotional. It's good not to have to perform inside myself to enjoy my life. It is so easy to enjoy my life in a state of ease and rightness. So man made emotion, force, anger, guilt, unhappiness. There was none of that here before man decided to make it by going his own way of frustration and wanting. So we don't have that here now. This is the way to live as much as possible because this is the divine way in which I offer myself to God. The self that I, man and woman, have made which has crucified the earth destroyed the rainforests out of greed, made half the world poverty-stricken because of our greed. I give up myself here. 
For my greed is an emotional wanting, an emotional competition, competing. That's my greed, my forceful wanting, my wanting to change you emotionally, my wanting to assert something to you. That is not holy. So I give it up. And I now join God's will, which is to be choiceless, to have no will of my own. I do not want a will of my own. I only want God's will or the will. And that is whatever happens is God's will. Now you, it's very difficult to get this distinction. Whatever happens is God's will. Otherwise there's going to be two gods going. Whatever happens is God's will. Now if I lose a leg tonight, that will be God's will. There'll be no argument about it here. There'll be no lamenting of it. It will be God's will because I don't want, I don't want to will any differently to what is God's will. Whatever happens is okay by me, even though it might be disturbing for a while and I might have to move swiftly to overcome any self that, of self-pity or something that might arise in me. But no, I won't have that. And the surprising thing is that the more that I live like this, the more all the circumstances of my life, my job, my love life, my everything comes together. And somehow or other, I'm in a sort of paradise. I use that word, but that's what happens. I, because I suspect it's God's pleasure, having made the earth, which is a paradise, that it is God's pleasure that when we surrender to the will and have no forceful willing of our own, that we do enter uh, back into the earth because we've given up the world which was made by man. Now those of you who have lived this life have discovered that your life has improved. It doesn't matter how it's improved, it has improved. It's only that if you want certain things that haven't happened, that's where you'll say it hasn't improved. But you shouldn't be wanting. The great intelligence knows your heart's desire but your wanting pushes it away. So why not give up? You'll still get in your car tonight. You'll still turn on the ignition. You won't have to want to turn on the ignition, will you? I mean, if you get in your car, you might sit there. You won't want to turn on the ignition. Your hand will just go out and turn on the ignition. And you'll just do as you do as you do. You don't need to want. Only when you're looking for something for yourself. Otherwise it will be provided. That's the mystery of, of love and life and will. Everything is provided. And no matter what difficulties you have to face, no matter what difficulties are in your life now, you're going to get rid of them. They're going to pass. They're going to be solved in some way or other. That's how it is in this existence. The difficulty arises here and just down the line is the solution in time. But we're so impatient when we get a difficulty, we want it solved now. And that's fair enough. We should do whatever we can practically to solve a difficulty now. But we shouldn't get into the wanting stage, the speculative stage. We should, having done everything that we can, practically let it rest. And it will be solved for us tomorrow, next week, next month. That is the truth of life.